Hi, my name is Kasia zwolak Szwechowicz and I'm a communication wizard at TechSoup Europe. Welcome to our tutorial that will help you make eye-catching content using a tool called Canva. There will be something for everyone, beginners who have never used Canva before, as well as pros who are ready for the more advanced options. You can watch single episodes as well as the whole tutorial at your own pace, whatever works best. I hope it will be useful in your daily work. People keep producing more and more content. Everything competes with everything. Your non-profit post fights for attention with the post of your friend coming back from vacations or paid ad of a new game or shampoo. Communication in social media is like a performance in a talent show. We have just two, three seconds to attract people's attention. How to grab it? By using eye-catching content. Humans are by nature visual beings. We need only 13 milliseconds to identify a picture. We switch to more visual forms of communication because it helps us to move faster in the world in which we are constantly bombarded with information. Graphic design is the art of visual communication that combines images, words and ideas to convey a message to an audience and create a desired effect. In this episode of our tutorial, I would like to tell you more about the importance of color and contrast in your design. Color is one of the most important and complex aspects of any design. It helps to set the mood, create an atmosphere, convene emotions, and even evoke strong individual experiences from someone's past. Some colors make you calm, others give you power. Black or navy blue seems to be more professional, luxurious, while orange and yellow connect us with creativity and adventure. Contrasting is used to emphasize certain aspects of the design. Using contrast allows you to stress differences between elements and highlight the key elements of your design. One of the easiest ways to implement contrast into your image designs is through the use of colors. For example, playing light colors out of dark colors or vice versa. In this image, I use a white font in contrast to the dark background, making the wording both readable and visually appealing. Another simple form of adding contrast is to make certain aspects of the design bigger or smaller than others. It can also mean adding more white, like bolding a word, to elements. In this episode of our tutorial, I would like to tell you how to work with fonts. When selecting which font or fonts to use in your design, one of the most important aspects to keep in mind is readability. Check the left one and the right one and decide which one is more readable. Traditionally, serif fonts are best for print and sans serif for web. Having in mind the golden rule that less is more, please limit your design to a maximum of three typefaces. You can mix them, but make sure that your audience can read your message. Make sure there is enough contrast between the text and background. Triple check spelling and grammar. And be sure that text on the visual adds value to your message too. If it's only stating the obvious, repeating the copy or describing the visual, you don't need it. If possible, use emojis in your copy. This visualization also helps your audience navigate through the text and take action. In this episode of our Canva tutorial, we will focus on choosing a proper image or picture for your design. Whatever the goal of your post or campaign is, it takes some planning not only to write a good copy, but first of all, find the right visual content. Strong visual content on social media gives people a reason to follow, like, comment, and eventually support your cause. 
you need to pair this copy with proper images. Sometimes it can be a photo, sometimes an illustration or an icon. It depends on your goal, message and your organization style. I would recommend to do some background on your audience's interests and think about what type of visual content they'd like to see. The image has to relate to the content. Yes, photos of cats and dogs are cute, but unless you represent the animal shelter or pet store, they are irrelevant. Please remember to make sure you have permission to use the images you choose. Canva, in its basic version, is limited with free-to-use photos. But you can always check stock banks, like the one mentioned here, Pixabay, Pexels, Wikimedia Commons, Unsplash, Google, Flickr or European collections. With Canva Pro, you have everything in one place. In this episode, I would like to tell you a little bit about the composition and finding a harmony in your design. Okay, we gathered all the elements together. Cool colors, fonts, amazing pictures. Now it's time to put them together in a clear composition. Designers must constantly juggle different elements to find harmony in their design. Let your audience focus on the most important elements. Remember that less is more. It is also so much easier for your organization if you create a few different templates for various social media channels and for various purposes. If you create a few nice layouts connected by your branding colors, fonts or recognizable graphic elements like circles in our case, you not only build your brand but also make your message consistent and you help your audience recognize your organization. If you liked this tutorial, follow Taxi Europe channels for more educational content. We at TechSoup make activists and non-profits job easier by providing access to technology, resources and community.